Hello lovely creatives, Vivian here from Vivian's Creativity Lab. Today I'm going to make a very uh, simple, well quite simple, poster. As you can see on the screen, um, just a few uh, chosen elements, black and white with um, a dab of pink. Okay, so let's go on to a new page. So I'm going to the home page of Canva. Okay, and here up the top, top right, create a design poster, portrait poster, 42 by 59.5, uh, 59.4, and that is centimeters. Okay, here we are. So, untitled design, you go to the top here and you can give your poster a name. Poster. Okay. And um, I'm going down to the bottom here just to zoom in a little bit. Can you see the percentage there? Zoom in a bit so that you can see a bit better. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to Elements and I'm going to choose a gradient. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Gradient. Okay, black and white gradient in this case. As uh, you probably remember, the ones with the crown are pro elements. So I'm going to the top, scrolling down, and I'm going for the free elements. Okay, let's have a look. See all. Okay. Let's go for, where is it? This one. No, I don't like that one. You know what I'm like. Bear with me. I'm going to go up and I'm going to take the free part off and it should give me the pro elements. If you don't have a pro uh, account, premium Canva account, you can always get one of the free ones. Okay, so let's choose this one. I'm going to drag it to fit the frame. There we are. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'll go back to the poster so you can see it. I'm going to choose some roses. So I'm coming over to Elements again and I'm going to write in black and white photo because I want it to be in black and white. I'll go up to the top, can you see? Filter. And here I do want the free elements. And let me see. Graphics, photos, see all. These are all free elements. Um, if you hover over the three dots on a photo, can you see? You do actually get the name of the person who took the photo. And it's always nice to mention in the description where you got the photo from and, um, and who took the photo. So in this case, this is by Simon Coltry and it's from Pexels, which is a very good free site. And sorry, I'll just go back and it says here, free. Remember to go over to the I to check the licensing for the photo. Okay, but I want the roses that I found before. There they are. And I'm going up to the three dots. Free. Uh, by Amber Lamoureux. And it's also a photo from Pexels. Okay, so if you like a very simple photo like this, that is fine. I'm going to do something a bit different with it. So I'm going to come, I'm live on the photo. Here you can see this little, these little arrows. I can turn the photo around and I get the degree, I want 90 degrees. Can you see that? Okay, I'm going to bring it up, make it a bit smaller either side, just by left holding down the left mouse key 
and I'm going to bring it down and move it across here. Okay, it's still a bit large, so I'm going to bring it in a bit. There we are. Now, what am I going to do? I want to the same photo, so I'm going onto the photo. I am right clicking and I'm going up to copy and then I am right clicking again and I am pasting the photo. I don't want it to be that big. So I'm coming down. This will turn out a little bit different to the one that I showed you. Let's go back up and I'll show you again. There we are, roses. Okay, so back to our poster. Uh, so now we need some text. Um, roses, roses. You can choose any fonts you like. Add a heading. Okay, so I've added a heading and I'm going to move it up here and I am going to click in and write roses. Okay, I've got a G on the end. Roses egg. <laughs> okay, there we are. Um, I can move it around by holding that down. Okay, the font is a little bit boring. Very simple font. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going up here to fonts. And there was a nice one that I used called Vida Loca. There is no crown next to it, so it is a free font. There we are. And I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to leave it um, as it is and go up to Effects. And here you can choose various effects for your text. I use the curved effect. Okay, I'm just going to center that above there. And I'm going to change the color. So I'm left clicking over it and selecting it, going up to the top here. And I want a pink. So I'm coming down to the slider here. Go on to the pinks. I sort of want a blush pink. That is rather nice. So I think we'll use that. Come outside. There we are. It's a bit small, so I'm going to go up to the size of the font here. The font is here, and the size of the font is here. Uh, it's at 134 at the moment. Let's do 144. Okay. Now, you probably noticed there were some nice petals on the original. There we are. And in fact, the font was a lot bigger. So let's select it again, and I'm going to put 200, see what happens there. Okay, bring it up just slightly. And then um, I put some petals on, so I'm going over to Elements, and I'm going to click on Rose petals okay the free um, filter is still there let's have a look at some petals if not I uploaded my own let me go to uploads a second here's some that I uploaded so I might use those bit smaller. Coming down, I'm going to turn it around, or maybe not. Maybe I'll put it upside down this time. Turn it around. Put it down just slightly. Um not sure about these. Let me see if I can edit them. 
Okay, so I've gone on to edit photos. I'm on the, the flower petals. Let's have a look. Filters, see all. I want a different color. Not noir. Vinto. That's a bit brighter. Let's see if there are any pink ones. Dream. No. Whimsical. Okay, well, you can decide which ones you want. I'm actually going to get rid of those and I'm going to do something else. I'm going to go back up to Elements, Rose Petals again. And I'm going to write pink rose petals. Let's see if we have any pink petals. Okay, they are quite nice. Um, when you choose something from Elements, um, sometimes you can change the colour and sometimes you can't. And how can you see that? Uh, by going up to the top here, there's usually a colour box if you can change the colour. So I can't change the colour, so I am backspacing, getting rid of those. Let's go on to these. That's the same. I cannot change the colour. And that is very strange because I had them earlier on. And they were free petals. So I'm going to go over to my other poster and I'm going to copy those. Coming over to this one and I'm going to paste them. Okay, so you might have to fiddle around finding some free elements. You can see the colour there that it's different from the, the type. So I am going to select the type again go up to colour. This is where you can change the colour and it gives me the document colour. So I'm going to change it to that colour and that is much better. It doesn't seem to be centred. Okay, there we are. So as you can see that's a very simple way of um, making a poster. If you want the petals to be behind this part all you do is select the petals, go up to position, and you can see over here it says backward. And they go behind that part. But I quite like them in the front. Okay, everybody, to download your poster, all you do is go up to share, get the drop down box, and there's an arrow which says download. Okay, PNG high resolution as you remember, JPG is for sharing and um, you can download it here to your own computer. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, you might even be able to use something like that for a uh, Valentine's card if you're a romantic type or even a poster. <laughs> anyway, um, take care, lovely creative. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.